university, he knew that he had two colleagues with him who'd help him beat that time. So I relied on Chris Brasher, whom I'd known for many years, and also Chris Chataway, uh, to help me ensure that the pace was correct. So we trained together and uh, they performed their assistance superbly well. Everything went to plan. Chris Brasher, with whom Bannister had been training, took the lead. Bannister lay second and Chataway was coming up into third place. 150 yards gone, and it's Brasher first, Bannister second, Chataway third. That was the way the three of them had planned it. Brasher to set the pace at first, Chataway to take over later. First lap was critical in that uh, Chris Brasher, who was a, a three-miler, found uh, doing 158 quite difficult. <laughs> so I did shout faster, and he wisely um, didn't go any faster, or I didn't think he did, and he said, well, I was going flat out anyways. The end of the first quarter-mile lap. Time, 57.4 seconds. They were ahead of the clock. So that was very critical. You won't find four-minute miles uh, run unless there is a, a first lap in 57, 58, because you have a certain latent energy with which you can start running, sprint for uh, 80 yards and then settle down with your lactate having reached a sort of normal level. The end of the second lap and half a mile gone. Time, one minute, 58.2 seconds. Still ahead of the clock. But there was another half mile to go. Could they keep up the pace? 1,100 yards gone and Chataway starts to spurt ahead. He overtakes Bannister and then Brasher and the gallant Brasher, having achieved his selfless pacemaking task, drops behind. Now it's Chataway leading, Bannister second. And then the other critical factor was that um, Chris Chataway uh, was taking me around the first part of the last lap. The three quarter mile mark and the time, three minutes, 0.5 seconds. Bannister, still in second place, would have to do his final lap almost as fast as his first one to beat the four-minute mile. There'd been some doubt as to whether I should overtake him early uh, because he was slowing, but I didn't want to run the extra distance round the bend and so waited till the back straight, the beginning of the back straight, when I could get overtake him uh, easily and then put in my finish and run flat out until the tape. 250 yards to go and Bannister takes over. Watch his giant stride take him to the front as he races the last lung-bursting furlong to the finishing post. This was it, the final effort against the seconds that have kept him and many others from the four-minute mile. Tape is broken. And tumbles into the arms of his coach, completely exhausted by his magnificent effort. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the result of event number nine, the one mile. First, number 41, R.G. Bannister, Amateur Athletic Association.